All right guys, we're gonna try another experiment today. We're gonna take the top half of this uh, quadrajet off. And we're gonna dip it in some vinegar for probably a couple days here. And we're gonna see how that, we'll brush it in between here and there, but we'll see what happens with this. And then we'll do uh, the lower half of it and see how she turns out. I'll get back at you here in a couple days. Okay guys, so the Rochester has been in there for a few hours now. I'll just give you, I want to give you a little, uh, couple examples here. I was giving it a brush earlier and I got all this completely cleaned off. You can see already it's just starting to, pretty amazing actually. You're all cleaning right up almost. We'll see how we're gonna. It's been in here, yeah, like I said, a few hours, so we'll just uh, keep letting it soak in here. Every once in a while, just kind of loosen it up. But, uh, you know what, though, not too bad so far. I mean, can't complain really. flap there it's all oh, this looks brand new now well not quite but I think it's pretty well clean I might just pull it out today and just uh, shoot it with down with some uh, super clean there and see where we're at but I'll see if I can get her up here You guys can see the difference already, really. Um, yeah, there she is there. I think it just needs a hosing down now. Everything that was uh, a little bit seized on, it's more loose, it's all loosened up now. Um, yeah, not too bad, really. Okay guys, so we got the vinegar all out and drained. We're just gonna hit this with some super clean now and then clean her up that way. guys just wanted to show you the carburetor here finally got it all cleaned off that's what she looks like I mean there's more I could probably pull apart here there's some more cleaning in there that has to be done but like the main principle of it all is all cleaned out um, I would go a step further if I go to resemble this and do more cleaning in here like I said but uh, like a lot of the main dirt and everything is off the carburetor 
pretty good job. I mean, the only thing the vinegar did was just, you know, just that bronze coating they got on the carburetor it just takes that off, that's all. But uh, it uh, pretty well unseized a lot of parts. There was some stuff that was kind of frozen up a little bit, but uh, but the only thing I need to do is pop these throttle blades off and just give them another cleaning on the backside. Same with these ones here. Um, but it more, like I said, more cleaning in here to do. But uh, yeah, like a, the main principle, it got a lot of the dirt off. So, in compared to what the body looks like right now, so you can see. So I, I may try another carburetor yet. Um, I might try some oven cleaner, see how that does. I, I want to do a few tests to see what. Uh, uh, I mean, what works better or what works equivalent at least, anyway. But. Uh, yeah, so I did obviously did the vinegar first with this and then just hose her off with the super clean afterwards, so. Oh yeah, one more thing I should probably add in this actually. Um, so in the video I said I was gonna let this soak for a couple days. Um, I didn't do that, probably a good thing actually because the the acid and the vinegar, you know, I mean, it's pretty potent. So it'll, these carburetors are soft metal anyway, so. Uh, it will like eventually if you left it in there long enough it would probably eat this metal like it did that gear on the crankshaft in an earlier video i did but uh i mean it's still okay though everything's all good with the carburetor but yeah so i i left it in there for like a day and a half roughly so i wouldn't leave it in there any longer than that i think that's about the max you could do so all right guys thanks a lot